Okay. So right now, buddy, what I'm trying to tell you here is that there are like some things that we might go through and at this point, taking a shower or making a whistle is required. One of those things is like ejaculation. One of those things like, um, like, like stuff that you might not really be aware of because you're still like 10. Are you 10 now? Uh, no, I'm 11. You're 11. Oh, yeah. But we are not going to really discuss it in the details, but we might be just like discussing a couple of things here, a couple of like points. Yeah. Death, right? Here it says death. When a Muslim dies, we simply make ghusl for him, right? It's obligatory to wash his or her body, right? According to the consequences, yeah. right? Uh, of the Muslims. This will be. Uh, discuss in more detail later but here it says once if somebody let's say if somebody because our religion is very well known and pay attention hey yeah right our religion is very well known for purity for cleanliness yeah. you know they yeah, say like we... cleanliness is next to guidelines right yeah we do that's what they say so so, so the thing is yeah, so the thing that I want to tell you is um, if somebody is a new to convert to Islam, does he have to take a shower and make us? Because he has been like, for example, like drinking alcohol or he might not really have the best, cleanest uh, clothes on him. You know, yeah, he should uh, take these it. people are not even bro, like these people are not really even like a, like um purifying themselves when they go to the bathroom, literally. Yeah, you know, um, they do not really have that option, the combination option or whatever that is. So that at this point that they have to, because there are a lot of things that they need to do, they they have to be in a very amazing uh, state of purity, right. And they so like, like, yeah, dude. All right. So what I'm telling you is this: a non-Muslim upon embracing Islam, no converts to Islam must perform a ghost. It's it's like a must, right? It's you, so like you gotta perform it when you convert. So like it's a must, like that. Yeah. Right here it says Abu Huraira reported that. Um, the Prophet وسلم, passed by him and he said, what do you have to say for yourself? He said, if you kill me, you would be killing a relative. If you kill me a bounty, like set me free, I would be yeah. very thankful. If you want wealth, as I like a reason, we can give you that. We can give you whatever you wish for. The companions of the Prophet وسلم, preferred the ransom and said, um what would it's like gizya or something like that in arabic that's what it is what would oh. we get if we killed him one time when the prophet passed by him he finally embraced islam the prophet um untied him and told him to go to the garden and perform us you see and that right here is a proof that if anybody converts to the religion of islam he must perform us he must make okay at this point, you got it. So, who are yeah. the two people right now that are supposed to be making this? So, wait, say that again. What are the two people who can uh, make this at this point, or somebody is going um, to make this for them? What do you think? Uh, so you like the people who are converting to Muslim to Islam, who yeah. are becoming new Muslims, and those who died already. When a Muslim dies, yeah. it's obligatory to wash his or her body, right? Now, yeah. I am going through this part where it says acts that are forbidden to the impure. Now, now let me tell you this. There are some different acts that if somebody did, it's going to be very forbidden, right? Yeah. And once he is not in a state of purity, so he has to be like impure at this point. So what it says is this. Such acts are the following. If you do these acts, it's completely forbidden if 
you are impure. It is says praying. Praying, whatever the prayer is supposed to be like, if it's like a voluntary prayer, if it's like um, obligatory prayer, funeral prayer, whatever that is, any kind of prayer, sunan, anything, it might be forbidden at this point because you are not in a state of purity. Here it says, circumambulate in the Kaaba. Let me tell you this. Uh, circumambulate in the Kaaba is supposed to be like a prayer. Like it is a prayer, actually. Do you know what I mean? Yeah? You yeah. Get like, is some, like you, yeah. Let, me, let me ask you this real quick. Is circumambulate in the Kaaba considered to be a prayer? It is, by the way. But yes. Allah made talking or speaking uh, during it um, to be like allowed. Like, like he oh, allowed yes. speaking during it, you know? Like your father, where is yeah. he now? He's in Saudi right now. In Saudi Arabia. What, he's, what, what is he doing there? No idea. You know? <laughs> Do you know what he's doing? I in think. Cobra? I think I think he he's is circumambulating right. the Kaaba, dude. Yeah, he, he, he's in the masjid right now. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. In Masjid al-Haram, right? So he's circumambulating yeah. the Kaaba. He knows all of these things that I'm, we that we are talking about here. So it's like you can speak. Like Allah allows us to speak during the circumambulation, right? However, it's considered to be like a prayer. And when you speak, you only speak good, you know? So what it says is the reasoning behind this can be found uh, in action required in the evolution as a prerequisite. Yeah. Okay. Now we go to this part, which is touching or carrying the Quran, carrying a copy of a Quran. You must be in a state of purity because you can't be impure. Quran is the word of God. You can't touch it without being pure so he, here it says the companions were all agreed that it's forbidden to ch to touch or carry a copy of a quran while one is in state of impurity you know yeah. so real quick real quick tell me about him tell me about those acts that are forbidden to the impure so the the forbidden uh act uh -huh. gotta be for impure is praying a certain Circumambulating the Kaaba. Circumambulating. Do you know what circumambulating the Kaaba is? Like going around it. Yeah, going around it. That's what the one. And, okay. and touching then, the Quran. Touching, touching the copy of the Quran. Okay, here we move to this part, but it says reciting the Quran too. So not only touching the Quran, but reciting it. Why? Because a lot of people would ask, what? If I've memorized Quran, right? I'm not gonna touch it. It's all in here. I would be just reciting it without even like touching it, without like, you know what I mean? Just reading it. Here it says, reciting the Quran, according to the most scholars, one who is physically unclean because of sex, menstruation, whatever that is, like menstruating women, may mm. not recite any portion of the quran is because of the haram it's just forbidden this is based on a hadith okay. form what it says yeah it says which he stated that nothing kept the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam uh from the quran save being sexually impure this is related by the four so it's just a thing that you need to know okay um we move on to this part here staying in the mosque it's forbidden for those who are physically unclean to stay in the mosque uh, because of sex or menstruation. So here it says to stay in the mosque. The messenger وسلم, saw that his companion's houses were like particularly in, in the mosque or practically uh, in the mosque. He yeah. said direct those houses away from the mosque. He then entered the mosque but the people did nothing. Open that Allah would reveal to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when they were doing was permissible. After that, he came out, he said, break those houses away from the mosque. For it's not permitted for a menstruating uh, woman or sexually impure person to be in the mosque. So being in the mosque requires you to be uh, pure. Yeah. Are you following here? 
Yeah. Nice. So listen, inshallah, next time we will be speaking about this part where it says actions for those uh, host list preferred, which means that if you do not do this, it's all right. It's not haram. But if you do it, it's, it's going to be even better. It's like it's yeah. a preferable act, I would say. So, so like yeah. you, if you do it, you're going to get more benefits. Exactly. Like more rewards from Allah. 